everyone, it's Deiru. Today we are replacing an old bathroom exhaust vent. Best of all, it is modern and clean. So we are gonna be upgrading today. Out with these old ones and in with a nice, clean bathroom exhaust. Let's do it, we have no access, anything can happen. To get rid of one of these old bathroom fans, all you have to do is pull it down and they have these little clips. You're just gonna push them in and that is how you're gonna remove the cover. Okay, so we have turned off our power at the breaker you now and we're just gonna unplug the fan. And we have a little putty knife in here that I'm gonna use just to loosen this up a bit. Okay, here we go. There, we got our old, this is the old fan motor that we're just removing here. And now we can take a look at what we're dealing with up there. Okay, so already I can tell I have a bit of a problem here because this vent is tiny and it's a three inch vent. That's a problem. So I'm gonna go over here now and just disconnect my power supply. And again, my breaker is off. I've got my hot and my neutral wires. I'm just gonna disconnect these. Push them back up. After bending back the metal, I can actually see there's a drywall screw right here holding up this. So what I'm actually gonna do is get my pry now and pry this out. Once we've got it to this, I'm just gonna tuck these wires out of the way and pull down my fan. Ugh. There you go. Again, our wires I'm gonna tuck out of the way so they're safely up away from our drywall. Now, we might have an issue here. Let's take a look at this. This is actually not even budging. We need to move this vent over here on the left-hand side so that it can attach to our new fan. We're gonna do some surgery here. Don't be afraid of cutting drywall. Cutting drywall is always patchable, repairable. Not a big deal. I'm just gonna trace out where I want to cut my drywall patch. I need to access that vent, so I wanna see what's happening. Now it's time to get my drywall saw. Oh, there we go. I've got my resilient channel there. So I will just remove it, there we are. So now that we've moved our vent over, we have a situation. This is an old house and it is not uncommon to see a three inch duct line in an old house. New vents are minimum four inches. So what we have to do now is use a reducer. Because our vent is four inches and our existing vent is three, we have to crimp this reducer so it can actually fit into our vent. This is a crimper. You can see it has three blades and two blades. You want the three blades on the inside of your reducer. So I'm just gonna put the three blades on the inside and start crimping. And that's how you do it. And you're just gonna wanna go around the entire circumference. And when you get to the seam, don't worry about crimping that. All this does is it gives you play now to squish it. To install the reducer, I know I'm gonna to have to cut back our vent a few inches. So I'm just gonna hold up the fan. And what that's gonna tell me is where to cut. I'm gonna cut right here on the other side of the resilient channel. These are aviation snips, and when you're cutting into metal ducting like this, it's easier to make a lateral cut here to make a straight cut. So I'm just cutting into it and then I'm gonna cut around the circumference of it. So you're not actually gonna be able to cut this all off in one piece. So what I'm doing is just cutting up into it and then I'm gonna cut across to cut into it in pieces. And always, always wear gloves because this is really sharp. But just take your time here, you'll get it. So now that we have our crimped end, we're just gonna fit it into our duct by pushing it up and in. Just, it might take a minute here to get this in. There we go. And then just give it a whack, <laughs> it always helps. Okay, that's looking good. You wanna get yourself some HVAC tape. This is essential for our seams. You can see it's a metal metallic tape. 
I'm just gonna tear some off. And then I'm just gonna be carefully applying this to our seams. There we go. You wanna go around the entire circumference of your duct. And then once you have it on, you're just gonna rub it with a gloved hand because you do not wanna have any air leaks. And I'm gonna continue that around. Get my insulation out of the way. And I'm actually gonna go around this a couple times just so that I know that it is really well sealed and that we have no drafts. You don't wanna have any moisture going into your ceiling because that will cause mold. And we do not wanna have any mold or any moisture going into our ceiling. I'm just gonna tear off the tape. Also too, super important, never have a fan vent into an attic or a crawl space. You always wanna make sure that this vent is going to the exterior of your home or through your roof. So now we're gonna take the housing of our fan and back out the two mounting screws that's holding the fan in place. One there and one on the side. So once we've removed the two screws, we're just gonna lift the fan and motor out of the housing. Slide this into position and then take this up into our ceiling. Woo -hoo. We're now gonna take our fan and I've just put a little HVAC tape on the side and I'm gonna tuck it into our ceiling now. and fit it into our reducer. There we go. And this should be level and perpendicular with your ceiling joist before we screw it in. So we have our three mounting holes. I'm gonna line this up and then install them three on one side into our ceiling joist. Okay, nice and solid. Give it a test, should not move on you. Now we need to take our HVAC tape and what I'm going to do is actually rip it from the middle. This is a little tip for you guys. Get it started by ripping it out the middle and now I'm going to feed this through and this is going to go on the top of my duct. Right? Since I got it where I want it. And then I'm gonna peel off the backing. But I got my top nice and secure, and now I can do this. And I'll just go over again, make sure it's nicely sealed. Now we're gonna make our electrical connections here. So when it comes to wiring, we have our white, our black, and our ground wire. Now this is the cover for our junction box, which is inside the fan. And you have to have a Romex connector like this. Anytime you have an opening, we have to protect the raw edge with this and we're gonna slide our wire in through this now. Push that through. Just feed the wire in through there. And this is because all of the wire connections that we're making are gonna have to be put into our junction box. Now, if you haven't wired before, the green is our ground and these are quick connectors. And all you're gonna do is take our ground copper wire and you're gonna slip it into the opening there to make your connection and push it in firmly. You're actually gonna feel it bite and lock. So that's our ground that is connected. Next up, we're gonna do our neutral wire, which is our white. We're gonna grab our white wire over here, push it in to the connector. You can hear it grab and bite. And then finally, we're gonna do our black wire, which is our hot wire. You're gonna push it in to your connector and push it in tightly and firmly. Now, we have to now push this, all the wires, into our box, which is hidden up inside our housing here. I'm sorry, you guys just can't see that, but you're just gonna, there's an opening and I'm gonna feed all of my wires in through there. Once I have them neatly tucked away into the box of the fan, I'm going to screw in my housing to protect all the wires. And in order to be code compliant, we have to have that Romex connector 
on our wire as it enters the junction box or the housing. So before we can slide our motor into the housing, you're gonna notice two channels here on the side. You're gonna to want to line them up on the side. And then gently push up. You have your two screws. You're gonna put your screw in there, tighten it. Tighten your one screw there, and then we're going to do the same on this side. Then you're going to connect, make your connections here so that we can operate our fan. Slide that in. Line up your squares. Push up. So at this point, we want to give this a test now by turning on the switch. And let's see what happens, see if we have some action. So this is a very quiet fan, but best of all is the finished product, which is coming up. Oil patch, got a coat of primer on there. Now we're gonna see the beauty shot here, which is the fan cover. By far, one of my favorite parts of the fan is a fan cover. You're, I really think more fan manufacturers need to make clean covers. You wanna just install it, squeeze right there. If you've ever installed a bathroom fan, sometimes the old school way of doing it is really not fun. So I'm just actually pushing this in and I have to say, that is the easiest installation I've ever done on a bathroom fan. This part of it, maybe not this part. So that sound right there is a one sewn ultra quiet fan. This is a very inexpensive fan, but I actually think it looks much more expensive than it actually is. If you'd like to learn about more ways to improve your bathroom, you can check out this video right here. I've got some good tips for you. I'm Deiru, thanks for watching.